us today. And in particular, I extend a warm welcome to Father Alexander MacDonald from the Diocese of Toronto in Canada, who is visiting our country at this time and who joins us today for this Mass. But most of all, I greet with all my heart our diocesan and religious priests who gathered here today together with our deacons, seminarians, consecrated religious... Peace be with you. My dear brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we renew our sorrow for all our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words. your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord has been given to me, Thank you. for the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring a race whom the Lord has blessed. The word of the Lord. Reading from the book of the Apocalypse. Grace and peace, the Lord.
the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Given to me, for he has anointed me. He has sent me to bring the good news to the poor, to proclaim liberty to captives, and to the blind new sight, to set the downtrodden free, to reclaim the Lord's year of favour. He then rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the assistant, and sat down. And all I... second reading from the book of the Apocalypse. <coughs> they mirror the prophecy of Isaiah given in our first reading and the desire which the Lord has for his a people who will be called priests of the Lord and ministers of our God. Yet the Chrism Mass is also in some ways a celebration of the fulfillment of Isaiah's prophecy, united in the priesthood of God's anointed one, the Lord Jesus Christ. The baptized, as the catechism states, by the church. The Second Vatican Council explained the distinctiveness of these two forms the participation in the one priesthood of Christ. The essential distinction between them is that the serial priest acts in the person of Christ. The holy oils which are blessed and consecrated by me, the bishop, during this liturgy. Two of these three oils are the signs of divine grace used for our sacramental initiation and for our spiritual comfort prepares us as infants and adults to become members of the church on earth. Today, let us acclaim, as did the early church in its liturgy and ritual, and rite of blessing and consecrating of these when the sacred oil of chrism confers on us the indelible seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit, empowering us to be witnesses to Christ in the world. Today, let us acclaim Ave Sanctum Olium, Olium at Sanctum Chrisma. Hail, holy oil, oil of holy chrism. Through your holy anointing, Divine grace binds us more perfectly to the church and strengthens our sick. Through your holy anointing, divine grace frees us from sin, renews our trust and faith in God, unites us to Christ's passion, and prepares us for our final journey. These holy oils which we bless and consecrate, we salute in this day. They bind us together at the chrism mass, also extend their right hands towards the chrism, as the bishop says the consecratory prayer, to signify that in union with their bishop, they share in the authority by which Christ himself builds up and sanctifies and rules his body, the church. This said to them, some in the sacristy just before Mass, this is my ninth prison Mass, and each time I pinch myself that 
I was chosen for this role. I'm sure many of the priests here do the same when they're celebrating <laughs> be chosen. Well, and I feel blessed to have been chosen to serve you as your bishop. Despite the personal challenges and difficulties which I know many of you face in carrying out your ministry, you continue to give generously and faithfully of yourselves each day in the service of the parish communities, the chaplaincies, the various ministries to which you have difficult to sustain, conflicts, experiences of misunderstanding, opposition to our efforts to bring about changes that are needed, or worse, a simple lack of interest shown by the people and the communities we seek to serve. These can lead us at times to become discouraged or disheartened. I know personally only resonance for us. Are you resolved to be more united with the Lord Jesus and more closely conform to him, denying yourselves and confirming those promises about sacred duties towards Christ's church, which, prompted by love of him, you willingly and joyfully pledged on the day of your priestly ordination. In affirming our joining forces with other priests under the leadership of those and allow yourself individually to be supported by them. Finally, I ask all the lay faithful, religious, thank you for the many ways in which you and your fellow parishioners, Virgin Mary, the most holy mother of God, mother of unfailing help, intercede for us all. Beloved sons, on the anniversary of that day when Christ our Lord conferred his priesthood and on our Holy Eucharist and the other liturgical rites, and to discharge faithfully the sacred office of teaching, following Christ the head and shepherd, not seeking any gain, but moved only by zeal for souls. may be made day by day a living and more perfect image of Christ, the priest, the good shepherd, the teacher, and the servant of all. May the Lord keep us all in his charity and lead all of us, shepherds and flock, to eternal life. Amen. Amen.
with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We of the Holy Spirit. You made your only begotten Son, High Priest of the new and divine work to lead your holy people in charity, to nourish them with the word and strengthen them with the sacraments. As they give up their lives for you, and for the salvation of their brothers and sisters, they strive to be conformed to gives you praise. For well, through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me. Story of faith. Offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you. Listen graciously to the prayers of whom you have summoned before you. Send forth from the heaven upon this oil in all its richness, which you have graciously brought forth from the verdant tree to restore the body, so that by your holy blessing, Everyone anointed with this oil as a safeguard for body, soul, and spirit may be freed from all pain. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and this I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
beginning you commanded the earth to bring forth fruit-bearing trees, among which olive trees would arise as providers of this most rich oil, so that their fruit might serve the sacred chrism. In the spirit of prophecy, David foresaw the sacraments of your grace and sang of the oil that would gladden our faces. After the world's offenses were washed away by the flood, a restoration of peace on earth with the olive branch, foreshadowing the gift to come. You declared by the witness of the voice that followed that you were well pleased in him, your only begotten son, and you were seen to confirm clearly what the prophet David had foretold in song, that Christ would be anointed with the oil of gladness above his companions. Therefore, we beseech you, Lord, be pleased to sanctify with your blessing this oil in its richness and to pour into it was anointed with royal, priestly, and prophetic dignity, be clothed with the garment of an incorruptible gift in keeping with the sacrament you have established. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Our help is in the name of the Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go for it.